Hey guys, how you doing? Happy Memorial Day. Hope you guys are having a great day. I hope people are off today. Some people probably are working today. Um, I just want to go over distribution groups real quick. So let's go over that today. Uh, today is the agenda. The agenda for today is distribution groups. What are they? Distribution groups are intended to be used slowly as in an email distribution list. These lists are for use with email applications such as Microsoft Exchange or Outlook. You can add or remove contacts from the list so that they will or will not receive emails sent to the distribution group. You can't use distribution groups to assign permissions or any objects. You can't use them to filter group policy settings. This is very important. You don't need to be an admin to create a distribution group. However, if you want people from outside your organization to become a member of your distribution group, an admin will need to set permissions for these contacts. For external contacts from other domains to become members of distribution groups, the admin must make the external contacts share contacts. So you have to make a, a, a contact account or a contact on AD in order for them to actually be able to uh, show up on dis in distribution groups. So otherwise you, you can't send or receive emails. If you're, if you're, if you're sending a, an email to that distribution group and that person is not inside the organization, they're not going to, they're not going to get it. So we have to create like some sort of shared contact for that. So we're going to create a distribution group real quick on, on active directory. Well, not now. Well, not active directly for mail exchange for today. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'll show you how to do that. Um, let me grab my, grab this real quick. So I'm on exchange 365 right now. It should, this should not be that complicated. Just minimize that. So you go here, click the plus sign. I'm going to call this technology. And we're going to call this technology. At kevtech.com, I guess. Technology team. Can we do technology. I'm just gonna call it technology. This is going to be um, emails for IT support. And now we have to, we have to uh, put it in AD or rather in Active Directory. So you just click Browse. We're gonna put it under. Uh, let's put it under Groups. Click OK. Um, every time you create a distribution group, you if you're the admin of the group, or you're you're an admin, you always have to put somebody as an owner of of the distribution group. Otherwise, they won't let you create it. But once you fully create it, you can remove yourself after creating it, which I'm going to show you how to do. Um, we're going to add that guy that I created. His name is, I think, I think his name is like his name is Rivera or something like that. So we're going to we're going to add him to this group. So just click the plus sign. Jose Rivera. Yep. Click that. Click OK. Uh, we're going to close it. We don't want anyone to just randomly add themselves. Um, we're going to put. Close members, members remove. See, it tells you here exactly what it does. So it says choose whether owner approval is required to join the group. Open, anyone could join the group without being approved by the group owners. Close members can be added only by group owners. All requested or requests to join will be rejected automatically. Owner approval, all requests are approved or rejected by the group owners. Choose whether the group is open to leave. Anyone can leave the group without being approved by the group owners. Members can be removed only by the group owner. In this case, the group owner is the administrator. So I'm going to click Save. Let that create, let that do this thing. I'm just going to double click it and, and I'll show you what it has inside of it. So is a description. This is organization unit, which basically means where exactly is it? It's under the groups 
it's under groups so that uh, basically when you're looking for something it will tell you here exactly where it is it could be on AD it could be in a domain it could be in groups it could be anywhere so and you could always change this if you don't want this name you don't like this name you could change it the owner is the administrator um, members is administrator messages delivery management by default, only senders inside your organizations can send messages in this group. You can also allow people outside the organization to send to this group. Choose one of the options. Choose one of the options below. So, only senders inside your organization. So, if you want someone to send an email to this distribution group, you click on this, and then you can restrict who could send messages. Um, message approval. Messages sent to the group must be approved first. You can do that as well on this, which is kind of cool. Then here you could. Uh, pick a default reply address so you can add another reply address if you, if you don't like this one you could add another one you could change it to something else um mail tip here you could here you could put who has send as permission so who could send on behalf of the group on 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 this uh distribution group and you and then you have uh you have send as and you have send on behalf. So send as permissions allows the delegate to send emails on behalf of this group. Send on behalf of, send on behalf permissions allows the delegate to send emails on behalf of this group. So I'm just gonna get out of this, leave. Now I'm gonna try to remove myself. Let's see if it lets me remove myself. So I'm just gonna click the minus sign and just click save and see if it lets me. All groups must have at least one owner who manages the memberships, manage, me, me, message approval, or other settings for the group. Make sure you assign another member of the group or another owner. So I can't kick myself out of this, or I can't take myself out of this. So in order to take yourself out of this, you, you go into AD and click the refresh button. Go to groups. It should be there now. There we go. Manage by. So here. If you want it to be managed by an administrator, you just click the clear sign and you click OK. And you just close out AD. Close this out, it's fine, I don't need this. And then if we go back to this, I should be gone now. I shouldn't be there anymore. So um, you got to be careful with this because sometimes um, if you work on an MSP environment or you work on a you work in a like uh, basically you work in IT support. You always want to remove yourself from the group because otherwise you're gonna start getting emails from for whatever distribution group you created. You're gonna start getting emails and then you're gonna be like, what the hell? Why am I getting emails from this group? So you just click yourself, you kick yourself out of that as well. Now, if you notice, there are no there are no owners on this, but uh, I put I put that user in that group. So so he's there now, which is awesome. And um, that, was, that wasn't that complicated, right? That's it. And that's how you create a distribution group. So, real easy. So, um, I'm just gonna cut that out. So, thanks for watching my video. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Send me an email. I'm always willing to help. I'm gonna make some other videos. I've been very busy. I apologize for that. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Happy Memorial Day, or, um, and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Take care.